Okay, and we're also talking about uh, the open gun carry, open carry guns, right. um, which big topic always, but the Supreme Court is taking action on that. The Supreme Court heard arguments last week in a case uh, that uh, Florida has a law where, uh, you know, people can get concealed weapons permits and, and then carry guns. I mean, and I think it's more than a million 1.5 million of these permits are out there at this point. So a lot of people have these permits. So these are for concealed carry. Concealed carry. Right. And there was a case uh, out of Fort Pierce where a guy had a concealed weapons permit, but he was openly carrying a gun in a holster, not concealed. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was uh, arrested and charged. He's challenging the law, saying, you know, it's a violation of the Second Amendment to, to uh, be required to carry concealed, that you should be able to openly carry firearms if you are, you know, somehow other, unless you're somehow other disqualified. Uh, so that case has gone to the Supreme Court. They heard arguments last week. So far, the appeals court and a lower court upheld the law. They said, you know, requiring to be concealed is, is constitutional. But uh, this gentleman's attorneys are arguing that, that it violates the Second Amendment, this, this restriction. Um, so the Supreme Court's going to weigh in on that. If you recall, during the legislative session this year, there were some big gun issues, and one of them was trying to allow people with concealed weapon permits to be able to openly carry. Mm -hmm. Now, that bill didn't pass because it, it got bogged down in the Senate and died in the Senate, but that issue is very uh, prominent among Second Amendment advocates, and now it's before the Supreme Court. And last but not least, certainly, is an examination of Florida's constitutionality of the death penalty. There are, uh, the, the Supreme Court has been inundated in recent months with arguments on the, on the death penalty. And that all stems from a January 2000, or uh, of this year, mm -hmm. ruling by the US Supreme Court that the way Florida carried out death penalty sentencing was unconstitutional. Right. Uh, with the judge and the jury. Right. Basically, yes. the, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled that Florida law gave too much power to the judges right. instead of juries. Mm -hmm. The legislature came quickly, uh, by legislative warp speed, and, <laughs> and passed a, uh, uh, a bill to try to fix that, to, to address the U.S. Supreme Court ruling. But that bill in itself has generated appeals and Last week, the Supreme Court, and, and this is a part of a series of arguments they've heard, but last week, the, US, uh, sorry, the Florida Supreme Court heard arguments and a challenge to that new law. And one of the issues that's interesting in that new law is that it, uh, juries can recommend the death penalty to judges by a vote of 10 of the 12 jurors. And uh, then the judge determines whether the death penalty is imposed. Back in the old days, it was, a majority of jurors could do that. But in this new challenge, these new challenges, one of the issues that's coming up is whether that needs to be unanimous, not 10 out of 12, but unanimous. And it's going to be very interesting to see how the Florida Supreme Court views that issue, uh, because uh, uh, the argument is, or one of the arguments is, unanimity is required in all sorts of other uh, uh, jury decisions. Why not in that? Um, so... Uh, that is a, uh, there are other issues out there before the Supreme Court dealing with this law, but that's one that everybody, th everybody I think is going to be focused on. Thanks, Jen. For more Florida news, government, and politics, go to the Advances section of our website and keep coming back to Capital Dateline online for daily postings.